And look at those long extended aristocratic noses of Putin. SS Heydrich, etc. Which are no Jewish noses, but pharaonic noses of the worldwide royal bloodline. Just like Pharaoh here. And it's called the Aquiline Nose, and it's char characteristic of the peoples they variously identify. Nordic, Teutonic, there we go, the Teutonic Knights, or Anglo-Saxon. So, and as Mr. Putin, he was, uh, he's from a place right near to the uh, influential uh, sphere of the Teutonic Knights in St. Petersburg. Well, he is Teutonic. Here, yeah, the Aquiline nose. It's Nordic, Teutonic, Pharaonic. And why Nordic? Well, because the Pharaohs already talked about the Sea Peoples, which they also called Haunabu. Sort of Vikings, you know, and they mixed with them and they went up north first. Just watch here how Swiss had their own independent Swiss state under the Tsar in Shabak, Bessarabia, where they even spoke Swiss German and probably still do, just as Mr. Putin. Because Swiss has always been the loyal killer for the aristocracy and the Pope, killing Russians for the Tsar, always going for the key positions in the octagon. I put it in the uh, descriptions for you. And here it says, you know, uh, they had an auto autonomous Swiss colony. It was home to the only autonomous Swiss colony in history, in the middle of the Tsar's the empire. So, they're everywhere. The Swiss and their sleeper agents, they're everywhere. You can read the whole article. I put in the links. And here it says an article from 2005 in Germany, in Switzerland, Armut, uh, that's poverty. They had to leave Switzerland because of poverty, which is an absolute lie, because Switzerland is very rich and it's very fertile. So why, because of poverty, then why become a major in the Tsar's army killing Russians? I mean, that doesn't have anything to do with poverty, does it now, eh? Uh, his name was Hans Kaspar Escher. He became a major for the Tsar in the Draguna Regiment. I'll put in the links for you. And here it says, they talk about the uh, Zurichtal here in the Crimea. The Zurich Valley in Russia. Yeah, Tsar Alexander, Alexander the First. They're talking at the Krim, that's the Crimea. Swiss are everywhere. They are octagon. The killers for the aristocracy. Now here it says, Swiss German in Bessarabia. Schweizer Deutsch in Bessarabien. You know, they were there. They're still there. Yeah, even Lenin's aide de camp, here it says, he was a Swiss, Louis Vincent Tardon. He even took a bullet once for him. And their names like Virgil Schanzer, typical Swiss German name. And um, Lenin spent years in Switzerland being prepared by Octogon of the Swiss Nazi Templars and their Teutonic Knights subcontingents. With Swiss Fritz Platten organizing Lenin's return to Russia from Switzerland, where Swissy had prepared Lenin's red terror on the Russians, especially murdering Russian farmers, their children and their women, and army, Russian army deserters. So here it says, Fritz Platten is mostly known for having been the main organizer of Lenin's return trip from the exile in Switzerland back home to Russia, after the February Revolution. So they organized terror on the Russian people then, and Swiss is organizing terror on the Russian people now with Mr. Putin and his Swiss base. 
So here you can see a Teutonic castle in Estonia. You know, it's uh, just watch uh, how it is octagonal. That's Templar stuff. Templars, Teutonic Knights, it's all the same thing. And therefore, because of their Swiss descendants in the Baltic and the Ukraine, the Ukrainian guards of the concentration camps and the Holocaust trains were worse than the German SS guards and even worse than the Ukrainian guards were the Estonian and other Baltic guards. And here both the German guards and the Jewish victims agree on this. Tragically enough, German SS and Jews agree on this one thing, that Estonian and Ukrainian guards were real sadists and worse than the SS guard, German SS guards. And sadism is a typical Swiss thing. They like to play with their victims, just as they play cats and mice with me and my family, which Swissy really seems to enjoy, and which makes them feel important, as in import, as in important Swiss Nazi cops or important Swiss fascist judiciary. Well, I give them a stage to feel important here on YouTube. Hey, Swissy? We can all see how important you are, you damn night Nazi Teutonic Templars you are. Swiss servants, Satan's seed. <laughs>